What Up This Is Drama Screen and in the celebration of Dom series, which is now available on Amazon Prime Video, I'm here talking with the composer, Antonio Pinto. How are you, Antonio? I'm good, man. How are you, Rumi? Good. Thank you for taking the time. So let me get right to it. Uh, you composed the music or the soundtrack for this show. And so um, you've done uh, scores for several projects over the years. Uh, in City of God, Shot Collar, McFarlane. What is it about Dom that made you want to be involved with it? How did your involvement come to be? Well, f first of all, uh, I was uh, I did I, I really liked the, the the story. I know the story is a real story in Brazil. And secondly, the director is a great friend. We've worked before, uh, so this was mainly the the the, the reason for, for doing it. And I think it's an amazing show. That's that's why I I do I, I've done it. You know. So for the music for Dom, uh, what are some of the sounds, some of the instruments that you incorporated? And did you draw from your own previous Brazil-based projects in the past, such as City of God? Yeah, well, City of God, it's uh, uh, in a way a similar story. It's not a similar story, but it's also uh, bad guys. It's in the favela. It, it, it uh, concerns drug 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 trafficking so but the difference is that city of god was a very rough and raw story and dom has a, a different approach to it which is a relationship between the father and, and the kid and it, it, it's some sort of like a love story between these two two very very uh, confused love story between these two characters so we decided at the beginning of the show that we would do a, 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 an emotional journey more than a rough journey. So we decided uh, to use lo lots of strings and mm. emotional themes and a mix of uh, electronic music and also a mix with very um, rustic instruments. So it's a mix of these three things, an, an emotional journey, which has uh, at, at some points, some rough sounds and electronic sounds to, to deviate you and to take you on these different layers of the journey. Uh, did you create character themes for Pedro and for Victor? Did you create themes to differentiate one no. personal journey from the other? Well, the, the, there's no there's no specific I mean things for characters we mm. we we I wrote a, a, a few themes but mostly they are for the story uh, for the whole thing you know there's not like a specific specific thing for this guy and a specific thing for this guy okay it was mostly a a, a, a more not generic but it was uh, it was more focused on, on the journey instead of on the characters, I, I may say. Well, congratulations on Dom being the first Brazilian Amazon original drama series. So what does this significance indicate or mean moving forward for Brazilian storytellers, uh, producers, writers uh, on this massive streaming service platform? Uh, will there be more original stories coming out uh, on Amazon from Brazil in the near future? And will you be involved with any of them as well? Well, we we are in a moment the, that the streaming uh, companies it's 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 getting so strong as as big studios are. So yes, I think the uh, Amazon is very interested. There's so much material to to do in Brazil. There's so many talented people uh, working here, and I'm I'm sure if if anybody wants to to call me to work and I would be very glad to do it. Very glad, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Amazon is amazing. Yes, thank you for sharing that. And for my fans at home, everybody go check out Dom, available now on Amazon Prime Video. Antonio, thank you for talking to me and congratulations, sir. Thank you so much, man.